Hi, hello, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you yet another Procreate tutorial. A lot of you have asked for how I kind of make the interlacing text for the days of the week. I included them in a free set on my website and I'm hoping to make a set today for the stickers that will go with the teacher planner. So we're gonna jump over onto my iPad and create some days of the week. All right, so in my Procreate app, I'm just going to go up to the plus button here and I'm going to select the canvas size that I need for my project. And typically for stickers, I will gravitate towards the square dimensions. However, sometimes I will use screen size or just any of these other canvas sizes depending on the project. But I most often turn to the square for my projects. And I like working with a transparent background, especially if I'm creating stickers. So I'll just go in and turn the background layer off. And so now, depending on the project, sometimes I will hand letter or I will use the text tool. Today, I'm going to use the text tool and I'm going to go in and put Sunday. And then I'll go in and kind of decide what font I want to use for my first layer. So I'm going to go with this one, I think. And I'm going to make this sticker try and fit as big as it can on this layer so I have less to crop for my stickers, my digital stickers. Okay. And tapping on the canvas will move your selection by pixel in case you didn't already know all right so now that i have that layer i think i'm actually going to change it to black all right there we go now i'm going to add a new font i'm going to actually select a color here from my teacher palette let's put this one all right, so now that I have a color selected, I'm going to go into my fonts again. And this one I want to be kind of more cursive, so I'm going to go in and select a different one. And I'm just turning that lowercase. All right, just kind of adjusting my canvas so I can see what I'm working with. Edit, edit style, and I'm going to make this bigger. So I'm just increasing the size of this. I kind of want to make sure all the letters are kind of over one another. So I have like a D over a D and A over an A. So I'm just kind of making sure that I'm adjusted as far as the letter goes. Kind of find something that I like. Before I start, I'm going to take this extra layer down here and I'm actually going to move it in between the two text layers. And I want to do this because I want to merge my layers and kind of make this more of a drawing layer. The way Procreate is with the text, if I try and erase a portion of the text, it's just going to select it. So I need to turn this kind of like in a drawing layer where I can erase, erase portions of the text if I need to. So I moved that layer between the two and I'm going to make sure that the layer I want erased is above the blank layer. So whenever I merge it down, you'll see the preview of Sunday. So now it's more of like a draw layer. So whenever I go to select my eraser tool, I can erase part of that layer if I want to. So now this is where the bulk of the tutorial comes in for the interlacing part. I'm going to zoom in on one of my letters and decide which piece of the letter I want behind the big black bold letter here. And so whatever part you erase is going to make it look like it's behind that letter and hopefully that will make more sense when I get into it. But I'm just going to choose a portion of this letter and with some letters it's going to be more difficult to decide. Sometimes I won't interlace all of my letters. So I'm going to zoom in here on this kind of curve right here on the S and I'm going to erase part of that. So I'm going to lower my brush size. The eraser brush I'm using is the mono line because I can get a consistent pressure with the mono line. And I'm just going to go in, that's still a little too big. 
I'm just going to go in and erase this portion of the S. So now when I zoom out, it looks like that loop of the S is going behind the darker letter. So I'm also going to come right here. Might need to lower my brush a bit. And you can also, to make this easier, you can decrease the opacity of this layer so you can see exactly what is behind that layer to erase that portion. So I can see kind of the black poking out here. I know that I need to erase within this category because I want that black to peek through. So now I'm still a little too big. If the monoline mono line eraser is a little too big, I typically go to the Narender pencil, I think is how you pronounce it, because that one has a much smaller brush stroke. So I can go in and get a little bit more detailed with my erasing. So I'm just going to go in and erase that portion. All right, and there is our first interlaced letter. It's a little less exciting just because this S is kind of difficult to work with, but you'll see that with each letter, there's kind of a different interlace effect. And it really just depends on how you want to lace your text. So now I'm going to come in and decide what I want to do with this U here. So I think I will erase this bigger section of the U here. So I'm going to go back into my mono line for this and just start erasing this. And it really helps to turn the opacity down, like I said previously, because then you can see the black or like whatever color you chose, the back layer text and the exact parts you need to erase to have that peek through. So there we have it. I'm gonna go in and erase this portion as well. And so now it looks like this wing of the U going into the N is behind the bigger black U. So now I'm going to repeat the process with this N and I think I'm going to go with this section here. And there we have it. Now it looks like I have kind of part of my N over the letter on this section and then it goes underneath the center of the larger N and over the third line of the N. So now I'm just going to repeat the process with the last three letters of this word. Kind of, and I really just choose these randomly, but I like to go in, see what I think might look good being interlaced and then erasing that section. Okay, to see what that looks like, we can go back into our draw layer and turn up the opacity. And there we have our kind of interlaced effect for this first word. And for the rest of the day, so we'll just go in and repeat this process. So I'll go ahead and start on Monday, just so you can see. So now that I have those two layers to make one sticker, I'm just gonna merge it down entirely. But since I wanna continue this process and use the same text, I'm just gonna duplicate these two first, turn that one off, and then I'm going to merge this one down. Then I'm gonna go in and edit this text to say Monday. I'm going to go into that same color I used previously. Add text. And then put Monday for this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate duplicate these two so I have these fonts ready for whenever I want to make more days of the week and then I'm just going to turn those off. So these are the two that I'm working with for Monday. Again you want to make sure that you have a draw layer so I'm going to go in and click the plus button for my a new blank layer. I'm going to move that under the layer I want to create into a draw layer with text at least and then I'm going to merge that layer down. So now Monday is a draw layer so I can erase those sections if I need to. I'm going to turn the opacity down so I can see the back letters peek through. Go into my eraser tool and then I'm going to go in and decide exactly what I want to overlap. 
So I think I'm going to erase this portion. So with this O here, it's really difficult to try and overlap these two O's. So I don't think I'm going to actually overlap those two. I'm going to go in and turn my opacity up, see what Monday looks like. So now we have our interlaced text for Monday. And again, I'm going to go in and I merge it down into one singular text. I'm going to turn this off and then turn on my other two text layers. And I already have my text ready to go. So I'm just going to go in and edit this. And there you have it. We have three texts. Sorry, we have three days a week already. And you'll find yourself getting into a groove with creating these interlaced text. And then all you'll do is go up to the wrench icon and go over to share. If you have all of your layers selected for all the days of the week, you can go in and click share PNG files and it'll save all of the files individually to your camera roll or wherever you decide to save it. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. There are a lot of different ways that you can do this on Procreate. I just showed you one of the ways that you can do this. So I hope you all enjoyed. Again, I'll be answering any questions you have below, chatting with you all down in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. It really does help me out and shows that you're taking the extra step further to support me and my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.